All right, how's it going, y'all? Today we're back in Unify, and this one's going to be going over how to set up a static route on your Unify router. And this works on the Dream Machine Pro, the Dream Machine, and the old firewalls. And so you can pretty much set this up on anything. And now hopefully the UI has stopped changing. And so these tutorials will actually make sense in two weeks from now. Hopefully they don't change the user interface again. All right, and so first off, let's just talk about what a static route is. A static route is kind of hard coding a route to your router. Your router is in charge of routing. That's why it's called a router. And what routing is, is basically telling devices how to get from one place to another. So every single device on your network, if they can't find anything locally, so if you, they're trying to connect something on the internet, they ask your router, hey, I couldn't find this on the local network. Do you know where this IP address is? And your router will basically send them out where they need to go. It will ask somebody else, or it will actually send a route there. And so if you want to set something up like a VPN server on a NAS, what you need to do is you need to tell your router, hey, there's this subnet, that VPN subnet, those are all valid devices. You can connect people to those. And that's what a static route is. It's also used for other things, but predominantly that's what most users are going to be using it for. And it allows your router to tell any other devices, hey, you're trying to connect to 10.10, .10, that's that VPN subnet. Well, I know where that is. You gotta go talk to this NAS. And then the NAS from there would take you to the VPN server and handle everything like that. And so that's what a static route is. And so setting one up on a unified dream machine is incredibly easy. The first thing we're going to go ahead and do is go into settings, advanced features, advanced gateway settings, and all the way down here, we've got a static route. And it's really easy to go ahead and do. Just go ahead and click create new static route. Now you just give it a name. And now you give it the subnet address. All right, and so let's say we've set up a VPN server on our NAS, and it's giving away IP addresses in 10.10.10.x. .10 That's the subnet it's using. So we need to tell our router right here, our Unify, that any devices asking for 10.10.10.anything, .10 they should be given to the IP address of the NAS. And so that's how you set it here. So we know that the subnet address is 10.10.10.0 slash 24. And distance, just say one, because it's probably that. And then the static route type, for most, if not everybody, it should be next hop. And the next hop is the IP address of whatever device it needs to be sent to. And so for our case where we're creating a VPN server, you're going to want to do that on the IP address of the NAS that is hosting the VPN server, the local IP address, 10.0.1.30, 31. Say you're running a VPN server on the IP address 10.0.1.31 locally. And that is all there is to it. Now, every single device that asks your router, hey, there's this 10.10.10.3 IP address. Do you know where that is? your router will be able to go, oh yeah, I've got something on my tables about that. You're supposed to go to 10.0.1.31, and that way it will successfully connect over to the VPN server because that NAS or whatever device is hosting the VPN server will know how to handle that traffic. You can also do this for some more complex setups. Say you want to purposefully get around your ISP's routing tables because they're slow. You can actually use this to say, okay, I know there's a better route, I wanna go here but that is very complex configurations and you probably really need to know what you're doing for that because if you mess something up, it can really slow down your network and it's gonna be hard to debug. But that's all there is to it. Now we can just go ahead and click apply changes. And now anytime we ask for those IP addresses, it's just gonna go ahead and do it. All right, well, I know this was a quick one, but that's really all there is to it. It's just that easy. Go ahead and leave any other tutorials like see me make the comments below and have a good one. Bye.